Hey guys, this video is just on candling the bearded dragon eggs at about, I think it's 11 days now, or 12. Um, so, I've just got a LED light here, um, should do the trick, and I'll show you the temperature. It's at, this is the thermostat, and it says at about 29 or 30 degrees um, Celsius, that is. Um, and then the electric one says it's at, let's change this to Celsius, uh, 27.4 and then Fahrenheit, 81.7. So I think this one might be broken, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm trusting the mercury one, like, and it says it's at 32 or 33. So it's like, I'm kind of averaging it out between all of them. And I just left it at the same temperature as uh, last time when I had a 100% success rate. Um, so, yeah. Um, I just decided to leave it. Um, and then, just get the eggs out and show you what's going on. And you can probably tell that they've grown a lot. Like, look at them now, they're pretty big. And only had 11 days. Um, this one here is not so big, but, um, just see if they're all fertile, eh? Alright. So, I'll just take the lid off, actually. Just bear with me. So, as you guys probably know, but if you didn't, um, there's 23 eggs. All up. And this is the first time I'm candling them, so hopefully they're all fertile. Okay, so as you can see, this first egg's fertile here. You can tell for all the veins and everything. Second one's the same. That one's the same. Small one's fertile. It's good, it's good. And it's fertile, and these two. I'm just trying to concentrate on like the actual light holding. In case I dropped it. Yeah, and both those two are fertile. Okay. Well, the thing I just went pink. <laughs> um. Okay. So that batch of eleven, I think, is in there. Yep. Um. They're all fertile. That's good. Let's get this. In. Okay. Whoa, these ones are bigger, I think. Oh, maybe. It's, yeah, I think they are. A little bigger. Um. So these ones are at the top of the clutch. So. Yep. Let's try and open it. Okay, so these ones, let's have a look. They actually do look really big, these ones. Okay, so that one's fertile. That one's the same. These ones are more white. I'm not sure if you noticed, but I think that means they're a little more developed and because they're bigger as well. Like, because the other ones are a little yellowy, um, but still had veins, so... Well, that one's got a cool little scar on it. It's pretty cool. Yeah, one's fertile. That one. Okay, so we got 23 out of 23 fertile at about day 12 or day 11. Not 100% sure. Um, oh, it could be even none of those numbers. It could be like 15. <laughs> I just can't remember at the moment. So, um, the eggs will take about 30 day, uh, not 30, 70 days to hatch, around there, that's what, um, they've been in the past, um, so, yeah, um, Daisy will be laying again, hopefully before we go away, because it's school holidays, um, now, where I live, and... Um, Daisy could lay, like we're going in about two weeks I think, 
Um, we're going in two weeks, and um, hopefully Daisy lays before then. I think she will. I think she has like a th about three and a half weeks between clutches, so we should be fine there. Um, and I did um, see a few little lumps under her belly uh, yesterday, so yeah, hopefully she'll lay before then. And um, that means that I'm going to be away for a whole week, so there won't be any videos for a week in two weeks, if that makes sense. So, yeah, sorry about that. Um, I'll try and upload as many videos as I can in these next two weeks. So, yeah, thanks for watching. See ya.